Hey everybody, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to design a Mobius strip in FreeCAD, just like the one I'm showing you on the screen right now. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new file. But the thing I should have done first is actually stop, stop this and set it to a view I like so we can reference later. I'm going to show you how to make one of these. And then in the new file, we're just going to go to Sketcher. And then we're going to start making our sketches. But before we start making our sketches, I should talk about how we're going to make the Mobius strip. Okay, so how we're going to make it is that we're going to make essentially a vertical line. Let me just get a view. A vertical line. Oops. A vertical line and a horizontal line. And then we're going to draw a semicircle. I'm just going to essentially do a, a follow path to get this uh, vertical line to match with the horizontal line using the curved line. Now we're going to make half the semi half the Mobius strip first. Then we're going to mirror it. Then uh, make them into one body at the end. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is essentially make the semicircle the Mobius strip is going to follow. So we're going to go and sketch it. Uh, make a new sketch into the X Y plane. And then we're going to go into make a semicircle. Just attach it to the zero 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 position, and just make a semicircle. Doesn't have to be perfect yet. Then we're going to go on construction lines. Just going to attach the end of the semicircle to the center of the uh, center of the grid, like that. Then we're going to set uh, both of these lines to be essentially horizontal then like that and up oh, that the updates then we're just going to set the radius of this semicircle to something any size you really want i'm just going to do about 50 millimeters so five centimeters and it says it doesn't like that so why doesn't it like that um by Fifty. Okay, there we go. I like that. Okay, so then we're actually done one of the sketches. So we're just gonna exit out the sketch. Then we're gonna make a new sketch into the. We're gonna make a new sketch into the XZ plane. Then we're gonna go make two lines this time, in uh, two vertical lines. That's not vertical. I can fix that though with the vertical constraint. Uh, then we know that we want to match it with this point. We know this point is 50 uh, millimeters from the center, so I'm just going to make a construction line. Uh, set that line to 50 millimeters. And set these two points to the same. Oops. And then set these two points to the same. And now this line is essentially attached. Now these two lines, we probably want them to be equal. So I'm just going to make that. Then we probably want them to have a certain length. And in my case, I'm going to do 20. 20 might be good. Uh, that looks a little big. So let's do 15. Uh, yeah, 15 looks perfect. So I'm just going to put 15. Put that there. And then we're going to make essentially the same sketch. But instead of a vertical line, I'm going to make a horizontal line. So let's make a horizontal line, make them the same length. Now we're going to set the length of one of these the same length as we set the other in the other sketch. So 15 was it? I believe. Yep. That looks right. Then we know again that this is 50 millimeters from the center. So we're just going to go into a construction line. So line uh, match with the origin. Go here about fifty. Then we're gonna set the length to fifty millimeters. And then we're gonna set these two points the same and lock it. And the sketch is green. If the sketch is green, it means it can't move. Everything is constrained, so that's good. So actually, that's all the sketches we need. As you see, that as you can imagine, might imagine that. This is going to work. We're going to do uh, essentially a sweep with this line to make this 
this line into this this vertical line into the horizontal line. So let's do that next. So before we start the sweep, actually I'm going to name these two sketches so we can see which one I'm using. So this one I'm going to call horizontal. And the sketch two I'm going to call vertical. Okay, just so we can know which one's which. Okay, so then what we're going to do is go into part. And then we're going to do uh, a unity to sweep. I'm going to select the horizontal. And I made a big mistake. I call these the, uh, I call them the wrong ones. So let me just change that real quick and I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. I just got a little bit confused. Okay, so our next step is to do a unity to sweep. And then what we're going to do is select the vertical line, select the profile, and select the horizontal line. And then we're just going to sweep the semicircle as a path. Press done. Press OK. And then after that, we essentially are pretty much done the Mobius strip. We got essentially half of it done, as you can see. And then our next step is to select this, select the sweep, copy it, uh, yes, paste it, and then we got that, select it, we're going to rotate it 180 degrees, it's okay. if it's not perfectly done, you can always go down here, and we'll close that, come down here, go to placement, and when it says angle, you can type in 180, and that gets perfect. Now you can see these are still two, technically two different parts, or two different shells. So what we're going to do is select both, and then do a, make a union of several shapes. And then we have, have it. It's one big, potentially uh, one big mobile strip now. And this is more of like a true Mobius strip, so it's essentially, if you follow one line, there's only one line and one face to it, instead of a, a three-dimensional, as you're probably more used to in the real world. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we have finished the Mobius strip. So this Mobius strip is pretty cool. Um, it's great if you needed, if you have a shape and you need to cut uh, this kind of profile, I don't know what what shape you need it for, but I'm sure there's some uses. But this Moby strip has no real purpose. Um, well, I don't think so. What would be better if we can make it a three-dimensional Moby strip, so we have some a thickness to a wall. And for that, we're going to have to start essentially completely over and redesign it from the beginning. So actually, I'll show you that now. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new file again. And like before, we're going to go into sketches. Or sketch it and make two new sketches. So we're going to make one in the XY plane, and this is going to be the semicircle we made before. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to set the radius to 15 millimeters, and then we're going to make a second sketch and a uh, second sketch on the XZ plane. Instead of a, a line, we're going to make a, a, a rectangle. So the Mobius strip can have a be three printable. And then we're going to make we're going to find the center of this rectangle. So just put a dot and draw two horizontal lines intersecting the, the rectangle and two vertical lines. That's not vertical, but that's okay. I can constrain it to be vertical. There we go. Then we're just going to Use this uh, trim and edge tool. Just trim these down to be intersecting. And then we're going to set the two horizontal lines to be equal and the two whole, uh, vertical lines to be equal. And like before, we know this little dot right here is 50 millimeters from the end, uh, from the center. So I'm just going to do that. Make a construction line. 
50 that looks good and then we're going to make these two points the same okay so now we're going to so now we have only two degrees of movement we want to set a height to this rectangle let's do about 25 um maybe 30 yeah, let's do 30 and set a thickness to um, 10. I'm going to do 6. Maybe that, maybe. Yeah, that looks better. So then we're done with all the sketches we need. So we have the two sketches. Then we're going to go into part design. And then we're going to make both the sketches uh, a part. Or sorry, both the sketches a body. So then we're going to select the plane that the sketches were on. So this one will be the XZ plane. And this one will be on the, the XY plane. That looks good. Okay, then what we're going to do is select the face, or sorry, the sketch that we want to do a sweep to. So we're going to select the rectangle. And then let's do the sweep of selected sketch tool. We're going to add the semicircle as an edge. And then this kind of makes this kind of half pipe shape. So then we're going to, instead of, in selected orientation, instead of standard, we're going binormal. And if this, and along with the sketch, is doing this 180 degree kind of turn. If we set X and Y to the same number, I'll just show you that it keeps working. If we set them to the same number, it does do this 90 degree kind of turn thing. So that's good. If that's okay. Uh, make an independent copy. That's fine. Then we're just going to find where that thing is. It's right here. So we're just going to select that, make a clone, double click with clone, and rotate it 90 degrees. Or well, sorry, 180 degrees. That looks good. Um, oh, yeah, 270 degrees. That's right. Instead of 90, then what we're going to do is select the original and the clone. Go into put and just do a and just do a union on the two bodies. Apply that until it loads. Did I do it? Yep, and there we go. That's the second Mobius strip you can make. So I just in this video I showed you how to make two mo two types of Mobius strips. So you have the the true Mobius strip with no thickness, and you have the three D printable one or manufacturable manufacturable one here. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye.